The man at the center of a standoff in downtown Eugene is now trying to get his daughter back. Police were called out to 7th and Tyler yesterday morning after getting reports of an armed man with a baby. Well, the man was never arrested. KZI 9 News reporter Now Win is live in the area with the latest tonight. Now. Renee, still several conflicting reports about what happened here at 7th and Tyler yesterday morning, including whether or not a gun was even involved. Initially, police officer told us that they believe Mara was a gun owner, but he denies those claims. And right now we are still waiting to hear whether or not we will be granted a copy of that initial 911 call. But until then, all, the man at the center of all of this says that all he wants is his daughter back. Stephen Marr spent part of his morning cleaning up the mess left from Wednesday. But the first order of business on Thursday was a court hearing. Where he tried to convince the judge he was fit to take care of his 10-month-old daughter, Indica. Despite not being charged with any crime during Wednesday's standoff with police, Indica's crib has since sat empty. The air filled with unanswered questions. Really, I didn't find out a whole lot except what they were accusing me of and why they took Indica. Mara says the paperwork says he's housing weapons and drugs in his home, an accusation he denies. I don't know why they have to do that. While the Department of Human Services couldn't comment on the specifics of this case, they did provide some insight into an investigation. They get up to 1,000 calls a month, and each incident must undergo a comprehensive assessment to determine the parent's ability to provide a safe environment for the child. So if the child's been you know, involved in a situation where they were um, present during domestic violence or if, you know, the parents have um, some issues, could be alcohol and drug, mental health, etc. So we look at those things and we, and we try to assess whether it reached a safety threshold. While Mara says it doesn't make sense, he understands the legal process has to take its course. But he's confident his daughter will soon be back in her crib where she belongs. I, I, I can't say a whole lot. I mean, um, nobody can understand what this is like. I have no question about it. When they get done checking me out, they're going to know that I am safe. I may be unique, but I am safe. And I hope to God that they are charged. Now, in terms of the cost to the taxpayers, police officers told us that the patrol units that all responded were already on duty at the time. It did also provide a very broad estimate of what it would have cost to bring out SWAT and crisis negotiation teams. They said that if about 10 members had come out here and had worked overtime, that that would amount to about $1,500. Live in Eugene, Nguyen, KEZI 9 News.